part here is there are so many people that are impacted by concussions that don't play football, right? That's yeah, how many other sports, right? You're talking about soccer has a major issue with concussions. Hockey has major issues. The military, obviously, there's so many other avenues, but obviously this being football programming and everybody that's watching being a football fan, you're focused on, you know, what can we do to make the game safer and how do we do that? And this seems like a really, really good option. So, you know, I'd love for you to kind of give us a, you know, a scene from the football perspective that, you know, what has changed even since you were in the game? I think it's something that I know I'm 31 years old. I can remember watching football even 10 years ago. I don't remember hearing the words concussion pro- protocol so many times, right? It's now it's feels like every Sunday you hear those words. So what has changed since, since you've been playing? Well, there, there's so many aspects to it. I mean, the, the, the guys are bigger and stronger and faster than they've ever been. And so, you know, it's funny, I'll go and watch games live now and I'll be standing on the sidelines and I'll watch the game and the collisions and I, I sit back and I go, oh my gosh, I, I, I can't believe I played this game. I, I can't believe what bodies go through playing this game. And so you're seeing the level of play just continue to advance. And, you know, with that, obviously, you know, the, the rise in concussions or, or at least we're able to, you know, to n- see it and notice it and, and take precautions now. And, you know, there's been a lot of rule changes. Yeah. All with that in mind is that it's a great game and, and it offers so much to so many, but we need to continually try to make the game safer and so taking the head out of the tackle you know and some of the rule changes that have been there you know some of the way that they're the nfl is trying to implement it all the way down to the youth levels and all that stuff is great but at the end of the day what we know is you're still not going to eliminate every injury or, or every head trauma and that's where we come into play is okay you know we're gotten better at how we take care of it after the fact and the protocols that we go through once you suffer a concussion but there's nothing that can really address a concussion. And so that to me is why this is so prevalent and, you know, has a chance to be such a difference maker. And we believe can have huge long-term effects on the game, on individuals, quality of life. Um, And that's what to me is is so exciting about it because people aren't going to stop playing football. It's going to be a part of life. You know, head injuries are not going to stop. So now we need to advance and figure out what are the ways in which we can help correct that or eliminate some of the long-term effects or, or the degree that a concussion may, may impact someone? And um, so, again, I'm really excited to be a part of this because I have a passion for this game, but I also have a passion for protecting what I believe is the greatest commodity in this game, and that's the players. And then, as I just said, it goes beyond that because it's personal for me uh, with my oldest son and some of the challenges that he's had to face.